All right, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Brothers, sisters, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of Blog Talk Radio, this is Pastor Dow. Oh, let me see what I'm doing. All right. Woo, we are literally wore out here on the land. We are wore out here on the land today. We've been very busy. Brother Mike Holland is up visiting, um, along with Brother James from North Carolina. Oh, boy. Hey, what I'm going to do here today is um, I'm going to talk to you briefly here just for a moment about diet, health, um, the things we hear straightway and why there's such a difference. Um, so I need your undivided attention here. All right. Um, you know, when you think about it, you go to the grocery stores and the food stores today. Y'all y'all go ahead and give me a radio check. Let me know how I'm in, okay? You go to the grocery stores, the food stores today, and you notice that all, almost every brand you pick up now is, is now saying all natural um, or either organic. All right? All natural or either organic. And uh, I'm of the assumption that if anything inside of the grocery stores that has been approved by the FDA or that has been certified kosher by some Jewish rabbi, um, you pretty much need to check behind them and see um, if it's really the truth or not. Uh, because everything that says organic is not organic, uh, just because it has it on its level. And I think that what I try to do more than anything is spend time telling people more than anything that you need to stop being duped and deceived by the system. Uh, the, the system has laws, and there's no such thing as lies to them. Everything to them is strategy. Uh, that's how the system runs. Uh, you're not dealing with a moral society. You're dealing with a very immoral society, and they have no uh, laws and statutes and commandments thereby to govern themselves uh, but men. And there's nothing for them um, to take advantage and to dishonor men because there's no honor in themselves. And so to try to get each and every last one of you to understand the perspective that I'm coming from more than anything, it, it's, it's a rough thing. Um, so you, you need to watch your foods that you're eating out there. I need everybody to pay attention to me and listen to me real close as I try to give you some of the wisdom that I've gained uh, over the years within myself. Now, those the people that have been a straight way, um, they have saw me over the years uh, in different phases of life. When I'm exercising really hard, lifting weights, they saw me when I'm actually doing um, a bunch of cardio and slimming down or trimming down. They saw me when I'm actually uh, not lifting any weights whatsoever at all or doing any exercise. And, and so they uh, pretty much uh, and they see me make gains pretty fast whenever I, I do something because I pretty much uh, have narrowed down and known uh, what I'm doing. Um, I want to discuss a few things here with you just for a moment and also give you my own personal advice. Now, you need to understand that everything that works for one person doesn't work for another, but the food uh, is, is pretty much still the same all the way across the board, especially when you're dealing with uh, fruits and nuts and vegetables and grains. So I'm going to dispel a lot of misnomers. I'm actually going to, um, uh, I know right off the bat that uh, everybody in here is not going to agree with everything that I'm getting ready to say when it comes to health and nutrition, but I just ask that you hear me out um, and and, uh, and and just try to listen to what I'm saying because this is what I found to work. I've listened to people. I, I ask a lot of questions. Um, um, I follow the advice of those who seem to be wise. I pay real good attention, uh, not to the words that fall from people's mouths as so much as I pay attention to uh, the faith that follows or the action of the lifestyle. Um, so if people are discerning Pastor Dow, Pastor Dow is even more so discerning them. Uh, you may not know it, uh, but I do. So I do pay attention. I pay attention to people. I watch people just like people watch me. Um, but remember, uh, uh, the scripture says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou prosper and be in hell, even as thy soul prosper. Now, it's kind of hard for your soul to prosper and, and be in hell, um, uh, and for you to be in hell if your soul is not prospering in the right way. Of course, then we go over to Exodus, uh, the 15th chapter, uh, and then we look at the 26th verse, and I want y'all to write that down because we, we quote it diligently here straightway. 
And he says, if thou would diligently hearken unto the voice of Yahweh the Elohim, and would do that which is right in his sight, and if not your sight, his sight, and will give it to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these, I will put none of these diseases upon you which I brought upon the Egyptians, for I am Yahweh that healeth thee. So Yahweh is the only healer. Uh, he testifies of that over and over and over again. And you've got to understand, we are um, in captivity still. Uh, we are not in our homeland. Uh, Jerusalem is still being trodden down of the Gentiles, and the Gentiles are ruling the world today. That's just all there is to it. The seed of Japheth is ruling the whole entire world today, and that's just a fact. And so, therefore, we're looking at the system that they have set up. And as you can see, uh, the system don't too much care anything about us, uh, his people. Now, I'm going to bust wide open in this numbers, uh, a bunch of things that people, um, you know, may have learned over the years by reading so many books or listening to so-called quote-unquote professionals. Um, but I believe that the information I'm going to be giving you here just for a short period of time, not going to be long. Um, I wanted to talk about health here and the detail here and why it's important um, for you to take care of yourself because, um, you know, the last thing I want to see is a bunch of Israelites uh, breaking down and, and their bodies going through a lot of unnecessary pain and suffering. I understand when we come into this way um, that we have a lot of unlearning to do because we have had a lot of things sown into our hearts. So we've been trained very, 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 very well. The first thing I'm going to talk about here is we're going to talk about foods. Um, then we'll get into a little bit about uh, uh, exercises and things like that. All right. Now, believe it or not, um, fat does not make people fat. As a matter of fact, the scriptures even said that the fat, is when it's coming from an animal, is a byproduct. It belongs to the Most High Yah, and I believe we ought to let him have it. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm talking about the right kind of fat. So, you know, a lot of times when you mention fat, people think about fat that's coming off of meat, you know, the, the trimmings and stuff like that, and they uh, use it in steaks or whatever, New York steak, um, a T-bone or whatever, and, and that's loaded with a bunch of fat, and they call it with flavor and stuff. So hear me out here. Um, what, what you need to do is understand that fat is not your enemy, but you need to eat the right kind of fats because if you're eating the wrong kind of fat, your body's going to respond the wrong way. Um, now, if, you notice, if anybody has been knowing me any length of time, you know that I definitely believe um, in, in drinking good, clean water. I mean, really good, clean water. And I believe that we should be uh, drinking water all of the time, throughout the day, every day. I mean, an insurmountable uh, amount of water. We should actually consume Water in abundance, good clean water, not water that has uh, been fluorinated and has got chlorine in it from the uh, uh, municipal water system that comes from the river where they dump sewage and everything else in it. Uh, I'm talking distilled water or either a good reverse osmosis machine, a very good reverse osmosis machine run you anywhere between $500 and $1,000. A, a good distilled run you in between $100 and $500. You can find distillers as high as $700, but a good $100 distiller, you'll taste the difference in the water is good and clean. And if you're worrying about the pH level, um, uh, uh, stuff, or you become an alkaline acidity, just go ahead and just put some different drops in it and bring it on up or get some aerobic oxygen to help stabilize the water in itself. Uh, but I want you to listen to me here real quick. So fat does not make people fat, not the right kind of fat. Um, there are certain things that you need to avoid that make you fat. If you notice, today there's a bunch of diet fads going on here in America, and there's no shortages of, of books. Um, I mean, I've got the ultimate solution when it comes to losing weight, and, and a very good way to do it, too, to eat less and exercise more because um, you can't get a lot of Americans and people who are not Americans. You can't get them to do that today because our society are lazy people. They hate pain. They hate anything that's going to uh, cause them to get out of their comfort zone. Um, but if they understood what your body felt like once you have a real good exercise and, you know, session, then they would actually do it more and more and more. Uh, and of course, it's time consuming, and it does take time. Uh, you don't have to get out there and kill yourself. But, uh, you know, we, we've got a mindset that is operating in us that it's very hard to try to allow truth to penetrate into the minds and the conscious. Um, so when we're talking about fats, we're talking about the right kind of fats. You know, 
And I'm going to reiterate this again. Fat does not make people fat. It's the wrong kind of fats that you eat that make people fat. And what you need to do is learn how to eat the right kinds of fats. All right? Now, what kind of fats should you avoid? And, I'm, and the fats I'm going to tell you right now that we should be avoiding, uh, we soon soon uh, in an extraordinary amount in this country on an unbelievable scale that is just unreal. If you notice, uh, you go and look at all these um, uh, yogurts and uh, and all the uh, uh, cottage cheese, um, uh, meal bars, uh, uh, whey proteins, and all those other stuff. Notice that they're loaded. Um, they may have what they call a, a portion of the good stuff, but they're loaded with bad stuff that actually causes your body to operate against itself. You know, your liver is a very, 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 very important function body because your liver processes, and we'll get to that in a little bit of time, uh, and it filters. Um, your, your, your liver is, uh, you only have one of them, and you don't want you to have liver failure. Um, so let's talk about some of the fats that you should avoid. Some of the fats you should avoid is hydrogenated oils or canola or vegetable oils, margarine, you know, any types of substitute of fake butter. You, you definitely do not want to put that in your system. That is just like clogging everything that there is. Um, and you want to uh, become very instrumental in reading labels. You want to read labels on foods. If it's not real food, you don't want to put it into your body. Let's consume it. Um, now, what are the good fats? What are the good fats that you can actually eat as many of these as you want and, believe it or not, not get fat? As a matter of fact, if you even put the right amount of fats into your body, you can actually um, turn your body into a uh, a fat-burning machine, believe it or not. Well, the good fats are real butter. You hear what I said? Real butter, real butters, uh, canola oil, olive oil, coconut, I mean coconut oil, excuse me, coconut oil, olive oil, uh, avocados, raw nuts. Um, all of these are, are good fats, and these good fats, when you consume them, uh, they would actually attack the bad fats that's in your body. And so when you go out and you buy some yogurt, and then the first ingredient on there is, is this sweetened with high fructose corn syrup, you're already defeating the purpose because your liver has to function um, at a greater level in order uh, to process and to the, assimilate and to get rid of, or get rid of, let me just go that route, of what is, um, has, has, has filtered through its body because that's what your liver is. It's basically a... Um, it, it, it sends stuff out into the body, um, but it has to work so hard in order to process it because we're putting foreign substance in there that does not belong within the body itself, all right? So, and of course, number one enemy is sugar. And you know Americans can't live without it. We simply can't live without it. Um, and so we, you know, if we, if we um, are, are not uh, failing by consuming too much sugar, um, then we're eating a bunch of processed foods. And then if we're not eating the processed foods, then we're eating the wrong kind of foods that actually turn into sugar into our systems. And, you know, uh, people really truly do not think about how important it is uh, for them to keep up their health and to work at it until things start going south. But sugar, make no mistake about it, is your number one enemy. Um, and stuff that turns into sugar, all right? Um, because if you consume the wrong type of sugar, what happens is your body spikes insulin. Um, and, and in this case, uh, what happens is, is that um, your body spikes insulin, and it begins to store fat. And it goes from a very high to a very low uh, in a very quick period of time, all right? Um, then also the same thing, again, you know, the difference here with the breads that we make here at Straightway, it doesn't have all that long, you know, you ever read your bread when you go into a store, even if you get wheat bread, you got this long list of ingredients or, or things that have been added to bread about that long. I mean, like I said, if you can't read it, you can't pronounce it, you don't need to be it in yet. But here at Straightway, so this doesn't apply. So listen to me for a second. Uh, you know, not all carbs are good carbs. You know, they're bad carbs, um, and, and, and carbs are not created equal. Um, whole wheat bread, pastas, and cereals are some of the worst things you consume. The reason being is because they're loaded with, with when you read what's in the ingredients, well, I mean, 
10, 15 lines of stuff you can't even pronounce, which if you were processing it at home yourself, doing your own self, buying your own um, flour with this non-genetically modified, uh, and you're making your own bread, then you can disregard what I just got finished saying because it doesn't apply because you're not loading the stuff that you're growing with high fructose corn syrup. You're not putting all the bad stuff on it. Like here uh, at Straightway, we make our own salad dressings. The sisters do. They make their own mayonnaise. Um, 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 some time ago, we bought a, a, a bunch of ketchup uh, that was just made from all natural. You'd be better off with a natural syrup or natural sugar um, such as honey, uh, raw um, sugar, uh, terminado, stuff like that, stevia, uh, as opposed to as opposed to um, consuming unrefined, I mean refined white sugar. And like I said, I'm sure I get a thousand people that would disagree with me with me on some point on this. Hey, I'm not contentious. Do what works best for you and be at peace. Uh, but I'm just telling you what I've learned over the years that has worked for me, and as I watch people. Um, around me on a daily basis. And I'm going to tell you right now that we got a, a lot of people here straightway, but we also have um, a bunch of unhealthy people here straightway. Because they, and the only reason why they're really holding on real good is because of the amount of food that we eat here and the right kind of food because there's a lot of people here straightway. You can look at them. When you see them, they don't take care of themselves. And that's just obvious. You can tell that they really, truly are not instrumental in taking care of themselves. And you don't want to end up like that. And so, you know, and if you know me as a preacher, I talk just about everything. I talk about every single thing, and that's just all there is to it, uh, because I'm concerned about your general welfare. Hallelujah. Um, what are some of the uh, good carbs, good carbs that you can consume and stuff? Um, rice, uh, sprouted grain bread, millet, uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, that's one thing I was talking to Sister Carol about today about actually putting a whole lot more in our staple, more so sweet potatoes than white potatoes. We need an extraordinary amount of sweet potatoes. Matter of fact, that's going to become one of the main potatoes uh, that we're going to be eating here at Straightway uh, over all those starches that we get from regular old potatoes. I understand that they're fillers and stuff, but if you're not proactive, meaning that you don't get out in the sun, you don't sweat by the time the end of the day comes, you're not stinking because you've actually been out and putting it in anywhere from four to eight hours of labor, whether it be in a garden or work or something like that, your body's not processing all that stuff, and you got stuff lodging in your joints, you got stuff lodging in the muscles, you got stuff settling in your organs, uh, you got stuff settling all over your body. That's why you get a lot of these aches and pains, because you're not being instrumental in moving and trying to filter out this stuff. And again, I'll say it again, Americans do not like exercising. Americans do not like taking care of themselves um, because it's a full-time job. Um, so you don't live on a community like we do, and we try our best to, you know, to keep certain things off the community and, um, and, and to take care of ourselves. But I can tell you this, we don't consume nowhere near the amount of sugar that a, a normal American does on a daily basis, and that's just the truth. All right. Um, so one of the main organs that you have that must be functioning very properly is your liver. Your liver needs to be working very efficiently um, because your liver – it breaks down fat. Your liver um, filters all types of harmful substances, such as monosodium glutamate, um, high fructose corn syrup. And But notice, whenever your liver is working on processing and filtering out these substances right here, it's having a rough time working. And so you'll get impacted rivers, uh, livers, uh, congested livers. You'll get unhealthy livers. And, and you'll see people who have probably never even touched a drop of alcohol in their life in abundance end up with liver cancer simply because of all the chemicals and the processed foods that they're putting deep down into their in their body on a daily basis. And it's just a sad, 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 sad thing. Hallelujah. All right, bless y'all, bless y'all. Um, liver cannot work efficiently uh, when it has to work overtime in order to break down all the harmful substances that you continually keep putting on on a daily basis. You know, most of us in America, we, we – um, we eat for enjoyment, uh, and, and, we, and we live to eat rather than eating to live. Um, and I had some people make a comment and said, man, pastor is my age, and I feel old as I don't know what, and look how he's running on that treadmill. And I'm going to tell you right now that I took a, probably about a year and a half, two-year break from actually doing any exercise at all. And that's only my second time on the treadmill 
Um, and I was running, the treadmill only goes up to a nine, and I was running on a seven. I was running on a seven for three miles. Um, um, so, you know, I, and, and I can liken it to the apple cider vinegar, drinking an extreme amount of water, extreme amount of water, not giving over to the lust of the flesh when it speaks to you and cries out saying you need to eat this and eat that, eat this and eat that, eat this and eat that, while it's sitting up there working on the on you. Um, you need to learn your place, learn the communication of it, learn how it talks. Um, glory to the king. Um, so we want to try our best uh, to impart some wisdom to help you here this morning. You don't need or you need to limit as much as you can putting chemicals into your mouth. Do you understand that? You need to work as much as you can of putting chemicals into your mouth. Uh, stop feeding your liver a bunch of harmful substances so it has to work overtime, and and it really is not able to get, uh, really not able to do the job that it should be doing because you're continually keep feeding yourself with a bunch of junk that is not necessary, shouldn't be in there. So what's some of the harmful substances that we continue to keep putting into our body? Well, monosodium glutamine, um, artificial sweeteners, uh, high fructose corn syrup, um, hydrogenated oils, and processed soy products. Um, I mean, our liver is just tax um, beyond beyond measure. Um, so read the label. And if you see anything that's saying high fructose corn syrup, you should just it, it, just don't try to do without it. I mean, just do without it. Um, and uh, I, I tell you, it's, it's all, there's all the, you go to the store, there are products out there left and right loaded with so-called uh, products that are healthy that has all of these harmful, bad substances in it, which actually um, um, voids out all the good that is in the product because your uh, organs can't function the way that they were meant to function. And don't let no people, don't let anybody fool you. Um, you can eat pretty much, believe it or not. You can eat all the fruits and vegetables you want. You can do it. Yes, you can too. You know why? Because your body doesn't have to process all that. Now, I understand that even the fruit and vegetables that we're eating today, it has toxic chemicals and everything in it. Believe you me, I'm speaking from a perfect environment. I already know. Uh, but that's the reason why you need to learn how to detox. You need to learn how to detox, 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 detox. You know, they have aspartame, just like Brother William put in here. Aspartame is, 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 is a killer. It's a killer of the body. Any type of these uh, sweetener substitutes, uh, killers, and I mean, Huh, it's just bad. It's just bad for us. And that's why we're experiencing a lot of pain. So greatly reducing or eliminating all the processed foods and all these harmful substances from your diet uh, will greatly, you would be able to greatly tell uh, a, a quality of life developing um, as you continue to work at this. Um, uh, I know a lot of people are going to hate this, but it's the truth. If you got a microwave in your house, you ought to repent. That's what you should do. You literally need to repent. I remember some years ago, probably about five, six years ago, when Sister Cindy and Brother Ed start uh, coming to the assembly, uh, and Sister Cindy would tell us about the microwave. And she would tell us what the microwave is doing with the food and how it's breaking it down and what's happening with it and, and what's going on with it. And I threw the thing away. Um, now, we left the microwave in there for a few people. Uh, Sister Carol and I stopped using it. And then when it broke, we never did buy another one. Oh, well. Uh, but Sister Carol and I, we don't have a microwave in our home. So if you got a microwave in your home, get rid of the microwave. The only way you should be having any of these health bars or stuff is if you got them in your go bag or your bug out bag. Um, eat foods that contain one ingredient so that your body can process it. Uh, I'll give an example. Eggs, fish, chicken, steak fruits, vegetables, um, olive oil. I actually drink olive oil. I actually been drinking olive oil. Uh, I'll get a bottle of olive oil, and I'll show you here. Just, let me show you just a second. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, here is some um, a Pompeian imported extra virgin olive oil that I have right here. And, um, and I actually... Uh, we'll take this olive oil right here. See that? And I was just literally drinking. Just like I do water. Uh, this, this olive oil is almost gone. 
Um, if you, as you can see, it's almost gone. See it? This is what you call a good fat. You follow me? This is what you call a good fat, a very good fat. Um, um, extra virgin coconut oil, butter, rice, sweet potatoes, green leafy salad, spinach, romaine lettuces, you know, things like that. Those are the things you ought to put into your body so that your body can work and so it can actually uh, become a very fat-burning machine. And believe it or not, you wouldn't have to really do all that much exercise you can, you can create an environment that your body can actually burn fat by eating the right foods. And then here's the kicker. You can actually eat as much of these foods as you want and never gain weight. I'm a witness. The only time Pastor Dow gains weight is two reasons. If I'm purposely trying to gain weight because um, I am a thinner, fixing and Centering my diet around that, meaning I'm eating a whole lot more because I am lifting and doing an extraordinary amount of exercise. You know, if I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and get up and run two, three miles, work all day long, um, and then come in here and work out for 30 minutes or, or an hour or an hour and a half uh, in the gym and stuff, that's pretty much a full day. And so, I mean, and how in the world can I keep up that kind of energy Yes, I'm actually putting stuff in my body that's going to allow it to function the right way. Um, and this is stuff that I've done over the years. Um, so you can actually eat as much of this food as you want and never really even get um, uh, hungry whatsoever at all. I mean, Sister Carol, uh, we'll go out and we'll buy bananas, and we can't hardly keep bananas in this house right here. We'll buy bananas and fruits or whatever, and I'll eat them things throughout the day, and Sister Carol does all day long. Uh, Sister Carol's gotten very serious, and she has just started dropping weight left and right. Um, she just literally, she, she's exercised. She just, just started dropping weight. She's changed her diet, changed the way she thinks, uh, and you can see it. You can see it on it. Um, and, and so we want to try to uh, teach you, you know, just at least the beginning of what you can do to actually um, have your body to work efficiently. You remember, there are good fats and then there are bad fats. You know, the good fats are the real butter, the coconut oil, the olive oil that you see I've got right here, avocado, which most people don't like it because it's green, but it's good for you, raw nuts, uh, and then you stay away from the hydrogenated oils, the canola and vegetables. Oils, uh, the margarine, the fake butters, and uh, the fake substitute butters in there. I don't care what the commercials say; they're liars. Because remember, they're FDA approved, so they're liars. Um, now we can't get past this subject right here without talking about calories. Everybody is so concerned about calories, 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 calories. Calorie, calorie, calorie. Everybody wants to know, Pastor Dow, how many calories can I eat a day, be it male or female, and lose weight? Well, the first thing you need to do is, is just wipe that mess out of your mind and don't even worry about the calories. I don't, I've never counted calories, and I don't think about it at all. Uh, it's not the amount of calories that you're eating a day. It's the quality of foods that you're getting and you're consuming. It's the quality. Because you can, I promise you, you can sit here and eat fruits and vegetables and nuts and grains and legumes all day long, and you won't gain weight. You just flat out won't gain weight. You know why? Because you're eating the right kind of food. If you're fat, you're going to wear fat. That's all there is to it. Because you're putting the wrong substance in your body, which your body was not designed. It was not designed um, to process. Me and um, uh, Elias, Mike Holland, um, and Tyler and them stuff today, you know what I passed I was doing, right? And I, I'll show it to you because I showed you all the vertical hangers, right? And um, and, um I, I did like, with me and Jamie, we did like the front side of the, the two-story and the side of it, and then I just got down and had to go. And the reason, man, because I've really been putting my hand a lot in this garden and greenhouse a lot here this week. And I plan on doing a whole lot more because um, you know, I have foresight. And, and that foresight tells me a bunch of stuff. Um, we own 350 chickens. we got to butcher a lot of these chickens, have them ready for gots. Have them uh, uh, tabernacles. We have eggs. We got all kinds of stuff. We got to get ready because a lot of people come. And when people come straightway, they eat a lot of food. And I don't blame them eating a lot of food. And when they come here to eat a lot of food, you ever notice something that when you come here to eat a lot of food, you never 
Are you feeling like that you done turned in some type of glutton pig? You ever notice that? You ever notice that? That's because you're eating the right foods the right way without all them chemicals in it. Uh, nobody is giving you insulin spikes while you're here. Um, and so you're eating a lot of the right foods. But I, I went out and bought um, uh, probably about six, three, six, maybe nine or ten, ten foot gutter sections, plastic gutter sections. Um, and I hung them up on the side of this other greenhouse right here. And, you know, they're only about that deep. And you know the reason why I did that? Because saints around here today are eating an extraordinary amount of spinach. They are eating an extraordinary amount of leafy lettuces and romaine lettuces and vitagreen. And, and since we're doing that, and I see that the saints are making an effort to take care of themselves and want to eat right, that means we have to really, we can't do things the way we've always done. we got to really step it up. So there's almost a, a, a full salad uh, bar out every meal. Uh, so you have to even be careful to make sure you're putting the right things in your mouth with salad. We know that we are because our sisters make all of our salad dressing here. Our salad dressing only has ingredients what's on the dressing. Um, now, I, I would still say that probably the best way to eat salad dressing is probably either um, some of this olive oil right here or just do like I do, drink it uh, on, your, on your green leafy vegetables. Um, and that's just a fact. Um, but like I said, you can you can read a thousand books that tell you how to lose weight, and it's simple: eat less, exercise more. If you're going that route, but if you want to burn fat, then you need to eat a whole lot of the right food so that your body can do what it's designed to do. And as the more you exercise, put more good food inside of your bodies. And I'm making sense. I know I said. Two things that seem like I'm talking out of my neck, but hey, all right. Um, eliminate the bad stuff and focus on eating the good stuff. You know what I mean? Eliminate the bad stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a video, Brother Eric, um, and about the, the vertical planners. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and get the uh, the things up today. We've been working on them. I'm going to make a video and show you all how we got them working and how they're hanging. Um, uh, we don't have any... Right now, we don't have any uh, plants to stick inside of them as of yet, but we will here pretty soon, and I'll make a video and show y'all. Um, but um, what was I saying? Uh, eliminate the bad stuff, focus on the good stuff, and focus on eating the good stuff. Um, and, and you'll live a quality, healthy life, and that's all there's to it. Um, and so rather than work my way, I can't have this, can't have that, believe me, you would actually change the apostat in your body. Uh, you'll actually change everything right here when you reprogram yourself because you'll start to enjoy eating good stuff. Um, so believe it or not, you can actually eat more uh, food and still lose weight um, if that's what you plan on doing. Uh, but most people are just not eating enough of the right kind of calories every day. You know, people here in America have been conditioned to think a certain way, and most people do not know how hard it is to change their minds, and it's very hard. Uh, it, it's a very hard thing to try to change somebody's mind since every man and every woman is right in their own eyes. Um, you know, so when I'm working out and eating uh, and lifting, excuse me, I'm eating a, a lot of foods, and my wife will tell you, Sister Carol will tell you, but I promise you one thing, you won't see Pastor Dow running around here when I'm working out exercising with a belly hanging over my belt. You won't see that. Um, um, but starving yourself also is not going to do any good. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's going to do more harm to your body than it is going to do good. Um, your body is going to act. When you starve yourself, your body, what it's doing is sending a signal. Uh-oh. Starvation. So what I got to do? I got to store all the fat that I can right now because uh, this idiot is on shutdown mode because he's not, or she not putting any food in the body. So I am going to have to try to store all the fat that I can. And what kind of fat will it be storing? The bad fat. That's what the body does. And so that's the signal that is sent to it. So starving yourself and your body, um, and it, it is half the body in thinking that it has to protect itself. Uh, and it's going to hold on to every bit of fat that it has left just in order to survive. Um, so, you know, you can completely go wrong either way with this. It, it just makes no difference. You can. Um, 
again, I, like I said, I can look at a lot of Americans, and I promise you, I don't see too many on a daily basis that's on the verge of starvation. I promise you that. Um, and what works for one person may not work for another person. You need to learn how to discern your own body. You can't sit up there and say, well, look, this was work to me, and this, so this may work for you when all of that different metabolisms. we got different metabolic rates um, that our body works in. And, and so you have to learn what works for you because what works for you is not going to work for another person. Um, so learn how to eat foods you enjoy and not foods that you hate all day long. Hallelujah. Um, so what do you need to do? Well, you need to learn how to move around. You need to get to moving. And Americans don't like that. You need to get out of the air-conditioned homes, out of air-conditioned apartments, out of air-conditioned buildings, and get some air. And I can't call it fresh air today because, damn, we got kill trails over here. We got people sending out all kind of pesticides and herbicides over here. Farmers spraying crap over here. Then we got these bad exhaust fumes over here and over there. And I'm telling you right now, the one of the the last best places that they are is out from any major city because, uh, I mean, it's just nothing but small city. Well, some of the things you need to avoid, well, believe it or not, you need to avoid orange juices um, and muffins and stuff. Um, anything that has high fructose corn syrup in it, if you can make this stuff and don't have high, high fructose corn syrup in it, um, um, then you're doing well. Um, eat steak, eat chicken, eat trail mix, eat stuff like that. You know what I mean? But don't eat trail mix. It's loaded down with salt and loaded down with sugar, loaded down with sodium. Uh, don't sit up there and slap, drink some coffee and then slap three or four um, sweeteners, um, uh, substitutes in there um, that, that does nothing but actually aid cancer in the body and then think that you're doing well because you you put in some sweet and low. I'm not getting much calories. Boy, they have conditioned you very well. Very well. I seen Brother James today. I said, Brother, how you doing? I'm doing all right. So you drinking water? Nah, 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 nah. Now Brother James can go ahead and stay hard-headed all he wants. Make no difference to me. I'm not the one going to be suffering for it, but I've learned from experience that you are just about 70% water. And you know what? Your blood has got a lot of water in it, and it filters. And if you're 70% water and the rest of you is nothing but dust, you know what you need to be doing? You need to be drinking a lot of water, a whole bunch of water. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And if you are PP and yellow and you're not taking a B vitamin, you need to learn how to, you know, take the right supplements. You know, Cindy talks about the right supplements. Brother Ed talks about the right supplements. The Saints here, Sister Carol and them, they do all the time. You need to be drinking a lot of water. You need to be drinking a lot of water. You need to be drinking a lot of water. You need to be drinking a lot of water. You need to be drinking a lot of water. You don't need to be drinking all that mess out there that's contaminated. Hallelujah. Lord to the King. All right, all right, all right. Well, I've ran my mouth long enough for health right here, so I'm just only going to open up the phone line just for a few minutes. Uh, Brother Mike Holland is here today. I wasn't planning on being as long. I'm really, really exhausted right now because I've been really working hard um, all day long today. Um, and, of course, I'm going to continue to keep drinking my extra virgin olive oil. First cold press, robust flavor. Hallelujah. Lord to the King. All right, where are we at? Guest call in number 310-982-4226 if you'd like to talk to Pastor Dowell. If not, I'm going to go ahead and call the broadcast tonight, and I'm going to say shalom to you, and I'll see you more than likely be the Father's will on the next broadcast. Hey, I hope that each and every last one of you uh, have, have uh, yesterday obtained an extreme amount of understanding for some of all, the Feast of Weeks. I hope that, that um, I spoke with clarity gave you a good understanding of the word, gave you an understanding of why we keep the Most High Yah's appointed times and seasons, his feast days. Um, I hope that it's helped y'all. Uh, sure, a glass of wine is good for you. Sure, it's good for, a glass of wine is good for you. Uh, we drink wine here straight away, but we don't drink wine like y'all think. Uh, like like uh, Cindy said, uh, they, you may see us or hear us joking around with it, but we're not a bunch of winos here straight away. We just flat out knock down to winos. We just don't drink. We drink wine, but we don't drink like you think we do. Um, glory to the king. Hallelujah. Glory to the king.
Yep, red wine. We drink it's like a Merlot or something like that. Now, the sisters, they like that candy stuff. Uh, we don't too much like that. Brothers don't like that candy stuff. Sister Carol starting to like the Merlot more than anything, too, but they don't drink much. Uh, it's a good fat. Um, I've been drinking olive oil. I open on, um, um, Brother Eric, I open on. Uh, it's a good fat. And it's 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 not a... Uh, it's not a trans fat. It's, it's just a, an all-natural good fat. And it's part of the fact, like I said, it helps your body to actually, when you put the good fats in, it helps against the bad fats. Hallelujah. Well, Brother well, Dustin said, as soon as you drink a glass of wine, the digestion process comes to a halt. Well, I don't believe that. The reason why I don't believe that because the, the scriptures don't say that. The scripture doesn't say that. As a matter of fact, it says um, even if you have a stomach infirmity, you drink a little wine. Uh, that's what it says. Um, so, you know, I hear what a lot of people say out there, but I'm talking from personal experience. I'm not talking to you about study says, study shows, um, this source says, source says. Remember, I started this broadcast telling you uh, I was going to be speaking from my own experience, and you need to find out what works for you. Hallelujah. Hey, Brother Bob, good seeing you in here, brother. Good seeing you in here. And all of y'all that are, are supporting me uh, and the straight community with your tithes and offerings, I really do appreciate it. I really, truly do. Um, it helps keep a lot of pressure uh, off of me. Um, wondering how, well, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? Especially when Yah's people are obedience to the commandments. Glory to the King. Glory to the King. All right. Since there's nobody in the room here tonight, we're giving up amount of time. Hey, I bless each and every last one of you. Hope that tonight has been some type of informative broadcast uh, for each and every last one of them. I'm giving you something to think about, at least stimulate something. You know, when uh, 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 spring going into the summer months, here and we just got finished with the last of the spring feast to us. So we're in the summer months, by our own admission as Israelites, um, personal calendar. And I hope that you're uh, uh, are, are living a good quality, healthy life. I hope you're not forsaking your private duties of prayer, fasting, studying, reading the Word, spending the time with the Most High God, and growing closer and closer to Him, so that you can keep yourself locked off for the power of the Holy Spirit to be able to use you. Now I'm going to close off here by talking about the upcoming meetings. As you know, Shabbat uh the Feast of Pentecost is coming up 27th of May, um, and we'll have that probably more likely at nine, either nine o'clock or eleven uh, a.m. that day. I'll be down in um, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, with uh, Pastor Leon and and Brother Donnie Webster, um, uh, the second uh, of June and the third of June. Uh, and service times, both times, is going to start at 11:30. And if you'd like to come uh, to those particular meetings, if you'd like to have information to those meetings, then you need to call the dining hall tomorrow morning. I'm going to leave information on how to contact this particular pastor. If you are planning on trying to attend this meeting, um, then I'll leave some information there uh, for you, you and you so you can get better directions. Um, glory to the king. Hallelujah. And I'll be in Texas, be the father of will. Hallelujah on the 16th. That is the Shabbat of June. Be down with Brother Mitchell and Brother Greg, my brothers and sisters in the Most High God, with Sister Rachel, and Brother Josh Gorman, and Candace, and their two boys. They'll be there as well showing up. And Brother Darrell, I've already got people. There's a church, another church down there wants me to come down there, and I hadn't heard anything from them. I, people are asking me since I'm so close, won't they come to church with us. And I'm like, what in the world? Let me come to church with us. My, my, my. Man, take your church, come hear what I got to say. How about that? Oh, either tell the church, open up the door, or we can really get about our father's business in this day and hour. Well, brothers and sisters, I do enjoy each and every last one of them. I hope that you all are doing well. Um, each and every last one of you, the sweet, precious, and strong, victorious and mighty, overcoming name of our soon coming master, our sovereign, our king, Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach. Shalom. Y'all have a blessed evening. The king.